I woke the next day to the distant sound of cows bellowing in the savannah. My grandmother was making food in the kitchen, fussing among her pots, putting new wood in the fireplace. I sat down quietly, watching her move through the wood smoke, which, irradiated by sunlight, cast the glow around her whole body, so that all her movements glittered as in a dream. The 2008 Arts and Letters Laureate in the Anthony N. Sabger Caribbean Awards for Excellence, Professor David Dabadine was born in Guyana. Though he has lived in the UK since he was 12, much of his work is concerned with his homeland and his people. I spend, I suppose like many writers, a lot of my time dreaming of Guyana in different ways. Um, so, so although you've left Guyana, you, you don't leave it intellectually and you don't leave it imaginatively. And in my case, I, I don't leave it politically either, because I do believe that it's not just enough to write about a place, you should actually try to get involved in the place in some social, in some social or civic way. Professor Dabedin is a renowned scholar of Caribbean literature and history. He won the Commonwealth Prize for Poetry in 1984 with his first book and won the Guyana Prize for Literature in 1992, 2000 and 2004. His books include a number of studies of West Indian and Black British literature and have been critically praised. Uh, one of the main things he has done over the years is to raise the profile of the Caribbean and of Caribbean studies, particularly Caribbean literature uh, in Britain uh, through his books, uh, through his teaching and through his regular media appearances on both radio and television. Professor Dabedine is known for guiding students to opportunities for funding. Without his intervention, many would not have been able to study at the prestigious school. Their work has been immeasurably important to the development of Caribbean scholarship. Uh, David's an, an extremely popular and effective teacher, and he works well with the MA and PhD students, and many of his former PhD students are now in teaching positions elsewhere. In 1987-88, I was on sabbatical from the university, both my wife and I at the time, and through David Dabedin's instigation, we went and spent the year uh, in Warwick, the whole family. It was a very profitable year for me. Not only did he help me to, with the publication of my first volume of poetry, but also, you know, just talking to him and meeting him and, and um, friends and acquaintances of his and so on. It helped me in very many ways. He has been instrumental in organizing conferences on and readings by leading Caribbean writers at Warwick University. He has done as much for Caribbean writing abroad as anyone and more than most. At a personal level, I've been very indebted to uh, the older Guyanese, uh, the older Caribbean writers uh, who have um, who've, who've adv advised me in, in, in different ways or befriended me or, or supported me in, 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 in different ways. Uh, Derek Walcott and Wilson Harris in particular. Now, the, the friendship with these writers um, really inspires you because I, 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 I'm, I, think they're write, I think they're writers of genius and somehow you have to emulate them. You have to live in their shadow. You can't let them down. This man of letters has also contributed to the founding of two publishing companies, Dido Press and the Derek Walcott Press, and helped keep the Dangaroo Press open, all published Caribbean authors. I've seen how he has sort of helped support and set up publishing houses in, in uh, England and so I think Dido Press is one of his things and how he, he sort of works to get the, the work of other Caribbean, not only Guyanese, but predominantly Guyanese writers into print and so on and he's generally very helpful and very good in that regard. Well, I can remember how in the, the late 1970s, early 80s, uh, when I myself was working on a Caribbean subject for my own PhD thesis, um, the Caribbean didn't really seem to exist in British academia. Uh, that has certainly changed, and it is, um, uh, he has made a significant contribution to that change. Professor Dabedin continues to write, teach, and publish, with two new titles expected in 2008. Professor David Dabedin, the 2008 Laureate in Arts and Letters for the Anthony and Savga Caribbean Awards for Excellence.